The Messiah, if you break that down, means one anointed, one wiped over with some substance, oil, some say, or some kind of ointment. It means one who travels much. I want you to listen to the way the verb is used. One anointed. One white over the past participle of the verb. Which means that there's somebody bigger than this man anointing him. Somebody greater than this man oiling him. Somebody bigger than this man preparing him. Yet he, when he comes, is acting in the power of a God. But he's not the supreme God. There's one over him who put power in his hand to do the job. Now who is this? Listen now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us another definition which goes to the core of the meaning of his name. And he said, and I quote, Christ is one anointed with the power to crush the wicked. got to be some power. Look now, this loving, sweet Jesus is not so sweet on his return. Look, I think you better hear me well. This sweet Jesus that was so When he was on earth among men, when he returned, you don't see those qualities. When he was among men, he was called a lamb. But when he comes back, he's a conquering lion. That is a difference between a lamb and a lion. A lion don't play when he's angry. One scoop of the lion's paw would take your head completely off. Even though the Jesus told Peter, put up your sword. Those that uh, heal by the sword shall be healed by the sword. Yet they saw him coming at the head of 10,000 feet. And they 